Hey, if you are new here, this is Chandan and you are watching the learning field. This is the lecture 10 of our uh, lecture series, LPP lecture series. Okay. So, <clears throat> in the last lecture or in the last session, we uh, discussed what? We discussed the duality or duality in linear programming. And in this lecture, in lecture 10, we will discuss the transportation problem. Okay. So, this lecture series is very helpful for gate mathematics and this transportation problem is very important problem for gate mathematics and this is also helpful for csr net and slst or third year uh, uh, state level set examination okay so let's start and before starting i am requesting you to all those who are new those uh, who are, are not watching me previously so please like comment share and subscribe the channel okay so we are very close to 1k subscribers so i'll request please like comment share and subscribe to the channel so <clears throat> take a look of uh, transportation problem okay so transportation problem means what Transportation problem is a special type of linear programming problem. One of the most important and successful application of quantitative analysis to solving the different types of business problem. Okay. So, regarding the uh, distribution of products are uh, referred to as the transportation problem. So, transportation problem is mainly used for business purpose. Okay. <clears throat> so, transportation uh, means see here the word transport is included in the uh, transportation problem. So, transport means what? Transport, so that means what? That means the transport service, transport service are included in these types of problem. Okay, or the or in this problem. Okay, so uh, basically the purpose to minimize the cost of the transporting goods from the one location to another uh, in the best possible way. Okay, that means what? Suppose there are one company which make these some products. Okay, and uh, the products are distributed over the country in some in the cities of the country okay so the <clears throat> company's uh, motto is what the company is try to make the transportation cost is to be minimum okay so for that purpose this is the solution you can say the transportation problem or uh, in uh, based on this transportation problem the the uh, company is based uh, or uh, uh, develops their business model you can say okay so transportation means the transfer of the materials from the different sources to the different destination okay so suppose this is the company so this is the source and the cities of the uh, different cities of the country suppose these are the destinations okay suppose d1 and d2 okay so keeping in view of the capacity of the supply and the capacity of the receiving and the cost of the transfer so these are the basics uh, so basics is what so this is the supply how can M o or how many uh, or how uh, what quantities uh, the companies can uh, supply or these uh, suppose these are the destination so how many quantities they can take or their availability okay or they are uh, so capacity capacities of these destinations okay these are uh, makes the uh, transportation problem okay so and the cost of transfer obviously okay so the cost from uh, may, the quantities uh, delivered from this to this that is the origin city to the destination city this is the cost of transfer you can say okay so let a firm produce goods at m supply center o1 o2 and om the demand for the good is spread out in the n different demand centers d1 d2 and dn okay the problem of the firm is to transport the goods from the supply centers to the demand centers at the minimum cost okay so this is the motto of the transportation problem now consider the lpp in minimize z equal to c transpose x subject to the x equal to b where x greater equal to 0 here one thing is noticeable that always in case of transportation problem always the objective function has to be minimized okay so this is the case first c transpose equal to the cost matrix and c11 c12 cmn x transpose equal to x11 x12 x mn and b transpose equal to a1 to a1 a1 a2 and am b1 b2 bn so there are total m minus a, mn variables okay and a equal to a11 a1 to a mn these are the vectors a11 vectors column vectors okay a mn column vectors so this yes and if here a mn uh, sorry summation ai is equal to summation bj the transportation problem is said to be balanced transportation problem that is if the total supply equal to total demand that is total supply equal to total demand 
you can say then the transportation problem is said to be the balanced transportation problem otherwise it is said to be unbalanced transportation problem now <coughs> uh, i say just say that though there are mn transportation variable the number of basic variables is uh, much less than mn uh, in a transportation problem oh okay so there is an theorem this theorem is most important theorem of transportation problem in balanced transportation problem there are at most m plus n minus 1 basic variables okay so this theorem is most important theorem okay now let us write the form you can say it is also a form and it is the sum form a summation form of the transportation problem okay so see uh, the transportation problem is to determine the x i j terms that is uh, what x i j term and i equal to 1 to m j equal to 1 to n so as to minimize this uh, z equal to summation double summation c i j x where i equal to 1 to m j equal to 1 to n okay subject to the constraints uh, some j equal to 1 to n uh, x i j this is equal to a i okay i equal to 1 to m and summation x i j equal to b j j equal to 1 to n these two are the constraint where x i j greater equal to 0 for all i j okay so this is the form formation of a transportation problem so there are total m plus n equations okay with m n variables since m n is greater than m plus n for m n greater than 1 that is the number of variables is greater than the number of equations so there is a possibility to have infinitely many solutions why because there are number of variables is greater than the number of equations okay so there is a possibility to have infinitely many number of solutions each solution determine the value of z we have to find those non-negative solutions which make the z minimum because why because since in the transportation problem the optimization it is uh, very important that in the transportation case this is a special type of LPP okay so in that case the uh, optimization function has always has to be minimized only okay not maximized okay so <coughs> there is a theorem so the necessary and sufficient condition for the existence of the feasible solution to the transportation problem is that summation ai equal to summation bj so this is the necessary and sufficient condition for the existence of feasible solution that is in case of balanced transportation problem there must be a solution or you can say conversely that uh, uh, to get a feasible solution the transportation problem has to be what um, balanced transportation problem if the transportation problem is not balanced transportation problem then we have to convert first the unbalanced transportation problem to the balanced transportation problem and then we solve it okay so there are two conditions happen in case of unbalanced transportation problem if uh, summation ai is greater than aj we create the additional destinations called the dummy destinations having the demand this summation ai minus summation bj and the transportation cost to the this destination for the origin is zero we can we take in this case okay and number two is if summation ai is less than summation bj then we can similarly tackle the situations by considering the fixious origin and the supply this is the supply uh summation bj minus summation ai at the fixious origin will be taken as the short as the short supply okay so these two are the cases when the transportation problem is not a balanced transportation problem okay so these are the cases yeah, i think you will understand these uh, topics or understand these lectures if you are not understand the theorem part of theory part of this problem then just wait okay after the theory parts we discuss the uh, uh, we discuss examples one by one in different process i think then the concept or the doubt all are cleared okay so and now we are comes to the solution of the transportation problem okay so there are various methods to solve the transportation problem one of such method is the north west corner rule okay we uh, don't uh, go to the what we don't uh, go to the um, the more theory part of these uh, rules or of these methods okay we just take the examples and up, uh, by using these examples we will discuss the methods that you will understand the methods properly or easily you can say okay so <clears throat> these are the origin which we are already discussed these are the origins and these are the destinations okay so we have to minimize the cost minimum okay so and <laughs> these are the sales you can say these uh, 
this is suppose x what x11 this is x12 x13 x14 x21 x22 x23 these are the variables okay x24 x31 i sorry 41 i sorry 31 x42 i 32 x33 and x34 okay so there are total what total uh, 12 variables okay so m plus n m n variables that is this is the uh, 3 by 4 matrix therefore there are total 12 variables okay and we just discussed that the total uh, here i just said map just a minute there are m plus n minus 1 basic variable okay So see, this is the okay the table or this is the uh, determine the initial basic feasible thousand of the following balance transportation problem. See, here the transportation problem or balance transportation problem. How to check this? These are the demands. Okay, so sum of this uh, de sorry demands of the destinations d1, d2, d3, and d4. So the sum is, is equal to 16 and 12 plus 15. 16 plus 12 is 28, 28, 43. So, 43 and the uh, supply from the origins O1, O2, O3 are uh, what? I think just a minute, just a minute. Thirteen. This is 13, okay. 13 and 19. So, this is equal to 11, uh, 30, 43. So, this is also 43. So, this is the summation AI equal to summation bj okay so this is a balanced transportation problem now we solve this by using what by allocating the see the north west corner method means we start from the northmost and the westmost section okay so north and west means first we allocate in this cell okay now this is the x11 so x11 this is equal to this is the method okay so minimum of what minimum of uh, demand of this uh, destination d1 that is 6 and what supply from the origin o1 that is 11 okay so minimum of uh, 6 and 11 is equal to 6 so we allocate here 6 okay so if we allocate 6 in this cell okay then the demands of the destination d1 is completed okay so this is completed now uh, we go to the next north and west section or cell north and west cell that is this cell okay so this is the next north and west cell and here now the remaining uh, supply from the origin o is your 5 okay so now we put in the cell x12 this is equal to what x12 equal to minimum of what the total demands of the d2 destination is 10 and the demand remain is uh, sorry supply remaining from the source o1 is what five okay five unit you can say so this is equal to five therefore we write here five and the total supply from the origin or from the sources o1 is closed okay so this one is closed and the demand remaining from for the destination two of or of the destination two is what five units okay five units uh of the quantity is uh, remaining uh, demand for the destination d2 okay now the next north and westmost section is this one okay so this is the northmost and westmost section that is the, the northmost and westmost cell you can see now this is the uh, quantity of x22 okay so x22 equal to minimum of the minimum of the remaining demands of d2 is 5 and the destiny sorry the supply from the source o2 is 13 okay so this is equal to 5 so we put here 5 and if we put here 5 then the total demands of the d2 destination is completed and here the supply uh, from the source o is remaining 7 unit sorry 8 unit okay this is 8 unit now we now go to the next northmost and westmost section that is in x23 okay 
so in we write x two three now x two three equal to what x two three this is equal to minimum of what minimum of total uh, supply from o two source o two remaining is eight and the total uh, demand for the destination d three is what this is clearly twelve so we write here twelve so this is equal to what eight therefore we write here eight and this uh, the total supply from the source o2 is closed okay so this is 8 and now here total uh, demand remaining for the destination d3 is what 4 unit okay and this is 4 unit now next northmost and westmost section is this cell it, because these cells are closed okay so allocations are closed okay so this is equal to x33 x33 equal to minimum of what minimum of right the uh, demands remaining for the destination d3 is 4 unit and the supply from the source o3 is 19 unit so this is equal to 4 so we write here 4 and the remaining what the remaining supply from the source o3 is what this is 15 unit so and one cell is also re remaining so this is uh, here in this cell x3 4 we allocate the remaining the uh, supply from the source o3 okay so this is the solution using the northwest corner method okay so we get the values of x11 x12 these are the allocations and the uh, answer is what so we have to find the minimum cost to transport this okay so minimum cost is what minimum cost is here the product of this uh, sales and the uh, cost okay so this is equal to Mm, just a minute so transportation cost here we write the transportation cost okay transportation cost this is equal to the 21 into 6 plus 16 into 5 plus 5 into 18 plus 8 into 14 plus 4 into 18 plus 15 into 41 okay so this is equal to total 1095 units okay so this is the transportation cost okay to uh, transport the goods from the sources o1 o2 and to the destination d1 d2 d3 and d4 the remaining methods we, we uh, which we are uh, discussed in the next lecture are the improved method okay so this is just a initial method we now after uh, one by one discuss the improved method uh, to solve the transportation cost or transportation problem okay so this is the content for this video if the content is helpful then please give a like to this video share it with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you see you again in the next video